Hello guys, in this video I will be talking about the SSP18 that just came out and uh, my opinion regarding it. Uh, it is a good choice for the Norwich to launch this pistol, in my opinion, because on the market there isn't any good out of the box Glocks. Uh, and this one actually does offer a lot of features that uh, you cannot find for out of the box and are even pretty hard to find as uh, aftermarket parts. Okay, to start, I really love the non-dropping barrel. I modified my own Glock to a non-dropping barrel and that wasn't easy to do. I had to do a lot of grindings to get it fit. Uh, Why sadly they don't include TDC out of the box. But I can imagine it's something if you want to do by yourself, you can still do so. Uh, barrel comes threaded, which is also nice. You don't have to buy all the weird thread adapters. Especially, I think, WE, KGW, TM, they all have different inner threads. So you even if you buy a thread adapter, it's not guaranteed to work. Apart from that, the on-spec continuing rail is also a good touch. It's much better than the TMs. Well, you I mean the real Glocks, whatever weird attach system. Uh, on the outside, I don't really have much complaints. Shorter trigger pull is shorter and flat, which does give a different feel. For, apart from that, yeah, it's a better trigger throw. Now let's take a look at the inside. Unlike the SSP-1, it doesn't have really steel <coughs> trigger parts, but they are sintered. They are like uh, stock AG gears. They are sintered. Uh, somebody call it steel, but they are like alloys. But in comparison to, like, this is a TM lower. Uh, you can also take a look at WE, they all have cast aluminum trigger parts which wore out fairly quick. Uh, I wouldn't call it fairly quick, but uh, it's one of the problems that plagues the Glocks. Small trigger unit parts, small sears, especially the 18, that's why people actually say get to 17. But in, in my opinion, if you want a semi pistol, take the high kappa. So you get a Glock because it offers the full auto ability. And uh, I don't know, I can't judge. The pistol is really just came out hours ago. So I cannot judge the how long it will last, but it is better material. Will it really do better on the paper? Yes, uh, and I certainly hope so. Now, would I... There are things I like and I, as I said, the non-dropping barrel is really nice, but not having TDC kind of feel like a cheap move. Uh, threaded barrel, that's also very nice. Combined with a Picatinny, that uh, really allows you to, let's say, if you want to build a carbon kit or whatever, or something that even better use the Piccadini to hold and a thread adapter to hold the barrel. I can imagine that being a, a lot more feasible for this. If you have a 3D printer or anything, I can easily see you upgrade this. However, the slide is not, it is the slide is not TM compatible. Uh, it's compatible in a sense that you can put it on a TM lower. That's fine. You can use it on a, uh, but however, as far as I know, there is only lightweight blowback housing. That's for me, it's mandatory. If I have a pick a pistol, I need that. Uh, it helps your trigger response. I mean, it just shoots faster because it's holding it lighter. The heaviest thing of this thing is definitely the zinc alloy casted block uh, blowback unit. I always choose an uh, aluminum one. Might it be casted aluminum or since the aluminum? I don't really care. 
and since the slide is not 100% TM, on TM you can see uh, these cuts. We have here this, I believe is a Lalex CNC Glock 18 slide, and this is a stock TM plastic slide. You can see that recess right there. Okay, and uh, the two tabs on the side. This tab carved out and this recess. Uh, so, <clears throat> and as, as, uh, as far as I know, there are only uh, lightweight blowback housings for TM spec. So this leaves this pistol not compatible to it. And I, I know that you can mew it because I did it to my Glock. I had a Glock, uh, uh, to a WE Glock. I had a WE Glock and I milled the slide to fit aftermarket lightweight blowback housing. But that's not something I, I believe you can do with the Dremel. If we take a look at the barrel unit, the disassemble of the barrel is somewhat unpleasant. You have to remove the thread cover. Okay, the, I'm happy to see the outer barrel is solidly screwed to it. Okay, I can see a maple leaf bucking. That's a that's a nice touch. Oh, probably already are set on max. Yeah, already set on max. Very nice looking curve right there, balanced and round. So that's a nice look. Uh, they must have put some salt to the whole pop arm. Solid switch, no wobble, which is nice. I don't, as I said, the gun just came out. I don't know how long it's gonna last. Hopefully a while. Uh, I like the sight. That is not too big. Fiber optic at the front. Oh, you know, I think it's a, uh, it's quite pretty compared to a regular TM or any other. I know that. Uh, oh. WE and Armor Works. They also have some console stocks, but I think this one turned out pretty nice. And uh, for the price of it, I think I think it's really nice. I would this one. I would say it's inside the price range, the best Glock out of the box on the market right now. If, uh, but honestly speaking, if money aside, if for me personally, I would probably get the non-dropping barrel, uh, but I would buy a TM slide. I would buy the pistol, I would, but I would buy a TM slide, maybe even the plastic one and get a lightweight blowback housing. That is just, I'm a very um, performance and efficiency oriented and uh, heavy slide just doesn't work for me. I hate, I don't hate the kick, but I hate the gas inefficiency and I hate that with the heavy slides, especially on fall, so you, you're just dead in the water after one burst. So that's just doesn't work for me. Uh, the Glock, uh, the SSB 18 seems to be able to do a f complete mag dump. Uh, I'm not sure if that's doable with all gas, all kind of gas and the temperatures, but okay, uh, a burst should be possible. So, not like one burst and stand in the water, but uh, um, lighter lightweight slide will certainly help with that. Uh, I think there is a video or live stream that uh, this pistol can shoot 60 meters. How any gun can shoot 60 meters if you overhop it a little and you aim a little a bit above. Uh, but that does show that this pistol have a well-designed hop up system. 60 meters is uh, to shot a human target is pretty nice feet. But then again, power is power. It doesn't matter, especially for yourself. It doesn't matter if it comes from a rifle, a pistol, or a sniper rifle. If you have the energy 
you have the backspin, you can shoot that far. 1.1 shooting zero fours, uh, and since the gas guns, they are always uh, drill creeping a little with uh, heavier BBs because they're always overgassed. I can imagine it. Uh, it's not extraordinary, but pretty nice nonetheless. The, uh, the especially the accuracy to shoot someone at sixty meters with a pistol. Uh, Yusuf was a is a good, very good shooter. Um, but that also shows the whole pop unit is precise. So over in, uh, all in all, I think for the price, uh, this would be, at least for me, a contender. Uh, actually, not just a container. I think this is a, a good um, good pick compared to any other sidearm you can find on the market if the photo is important to you. Uh, and uh, that's it.